Hey guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. You guys, okay, this is going to be, which I did a very similar, maybe even a couple similar videos last year. This is gonna be my kind of unconventional slash really, really, really sweet Valentine's Day list. First and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, so as I said, this is a very me list. There's some really, really sweet, whimsical things. There's some kind of unconventional things, and then we threw in some very, very cheesy things. All of those, I think, encompass me and my style. Valentine's Day is so fun, and I just have to start off by saying what I said last year, and in any video going forward in perpetuity, you know, I myself will not have a Valentine this year, and I quite frankly really haven't ever. So I always advocate whether it is a holiday, whether it is your birthday, whether it is just a random Tuesday, and especially on Valentine's Day, that if 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 you don't if you don't want to send this list to someone, your partner, whoever, who's gonna gift you one of these pieces, you can always get one of these for yourself or have a friend gift something to you, do a gift exchange. Just always advocating for this because I myself, my by myself, maybe redundant sounding one piece on this list. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, some of my favorite like little fun gifts for Valentine's Day is makeup and perfume. And I have a couple, and we'll go rapid fire because I've talked about most of these brands kind of at nauseum, except for one, a new one that I have to lead in with. Edward Bess is like, first of all, I think I fell in love. I'm sure that Edward is like this kind and inviting and welcoming to every one of his clients, but essentially a couple, like a week and a half ago, I went to Dover Street Market with my mom and my brother as we always do our little shopping dates. And Edward Best has like this whole kind of pop-up, I believe, or installation, let's say, at Dover Street Market. And I literally like zoomed in and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this beauty? There's like these really incredible little pieces of antiquity, let's say, like these really beautiful either jewelry pieces or art objects or vintage antique objects. It's just like so well curated. And I immediately saw the colors of the lipsticks and I was like, oh my goodness, other than Gucci, Carol Beige, I've never been able to find such a good, cool toned nude for my skin color. We know I have green undertones, you know, I'm Moroccan. And so and like even the most neutral of nudes look orange on me. And so this shade, I'm not gonna show you mine because I've been using it a lot and I don't like showing worn makeup for some reason. I have a little thing about that, but this shade, Oh my goodness, if you are, know someone like me or are someone like me and you love a good cool toned nude, like this shade, the entire line is incredible. And then I fell in love, fell in love with one of the fragrances. My personal favorite that I immediately fell in love with is called Last Night. But essentially, if you want something that's like so incredibly delicious and yet I think different than any other fragrance house we know I love a niche fragrance, I would absolutely check out Edward Bess. And if you want to then go like really, really, really fun Valentine's Day makeup, of course, Pat McGrath has some of the most incredible pink and red shades. You know, I love a pink shades perfect for Valentine's Day. I mean, literally any of the glosses I'm wearing one right now. I wear one literally on a daily basis. Any of those are like so fun. Lipstick, they have fully dedicated pink palettes. I have a couple of them myself. Pat McGrath is perfect. And then just had to throw in, you know, the most alternative if, you, if, you, if you're an edgy person. It's Amaya. Like how cool and ironic we already know what I'm talking about here would one of the lipsticks be. Those lip glosses look insane and any of the eyeshadow palettes, I would die to have this gifted to me. Oh my God, and then let's just go ahead and get into some of the bags. I have a few sprinkled in with other categories. There is a new bag that I'm calling right now. I'm sure other people are thinking this. Le Kalino bag from Jacquemus is gonna be the bag of 2024, maybe even 2025. It is the cutest 
chicest shaped bag and you know I will be waiting for a brown maybe in the pony hair or whatever kind of hair that is maybe in that color in that style but I will be waiting for the browns to drop hopefully at some point soon this bag literally just went down the runway and you already know we love a designer who gives you immediate access this bag was just shown like last week on the runway and is immediately available for purchase and when I tell you I'm obsessed Shock Moose has, it's been a little while. There's been some bags that like, okay, we thought we're gonna go kind of have that crazy, amazing trending moment like the infamous Le Chiquito had years ago, which I think is still, it's, it's definitely up there with one of the most like, most trending Instagram worthy bags, maybe even of all time. And it's been a while since that's kind of happened again. And I think this could be one. The shape, I could talk about it all day. It comes in two different sizes. I truly think that it's just so cool. Like the fact that the circle just perfect, it's very ergonomic. Like where you're holding it, you also slip your hand into. I'm literally obsessed with this bag. And for Valentine's Day, of course you can get any color, but there's a red pony hair one go immediately buy this bag before it sells out if it's not already sold out oh, and just to throw in a couple jewelry ones before we get into more bags i always have to add a catbird piece onto here because i've talked about the little basket which i think would be the cutest little like not obvious valentine's day charm but i think it's just very very sweet i don't know if anybody else remembers the gilmore girls episode where they do like a basket exchange men bid on women's baskets yes yeah, so it's like gender roles very traditional but i don't know that would be really cute if you're into that that's such a sweet idea however there is also a charm that is so cute i didn't even realize this it's done in collaboration with phoebe bridgers called give you the moon charm with a little moonstone it's very simple it's so pretty and again if you're one of those like me honestly who just loves a good you know like I love you to the moon and back like my mom used to always read me the sweetest stories and always say that to me and so like I just it's so sweet it's so sweet you know Valentine's Day is when we can sprinkle in some cliches and that's just it's so fun and it's so pretty and I'm almost positive this is like a Valentine's Day capsule collection so like how perfect and then yes of course I have to talk about just a couple pieces from Layla Sophia jewelry my jewelry line because for the first time I did one single piece dedicated to Valentine's Day which I actually I didn't expect myself I was gonna give this to my mom and now I'm like I'm just gonna make you another because I kind of want this for myself. I have the sweetest little signet ring that I made especially for Valentine's Day. It just says loved simply. I had all these like images and words and phrases that I was thinking of and then I was like, you know what? Especially in today's world, it just is important that we all remind ourselves and remind each other that we are simply just loved. And so it's cheesy, yes, but honestly, I've been loving, yes, okay, even more cliches, I've been loving wearing it and it's been a while. It's been years since I've had like a traditional signet ring. I also then was like, oh my gosh, of course. I made this collection after Valentine's Day last year, so no relation, but I do have an entire collection, which most of you guys know about, which are my little mini flowers. And I like literally I'm wearing three right now. I have my Lily ring. I have my Lily bangle and I'm wearing currently I switch between all of them. I have my little anthurium and I have my large Lily, which I guess I'm wearing four. I'm always wearing one. And essentially the entire idea behind it was making a permanent bouquet that could never wilt in gold. And so that like, it's perfect. It's perfect for Valentine's Day and you can kind of go like run the spectrum. Any of your favorite flowers, pick which one is your favorite and there's also a really good range of pricing. Okay, and one more random category before we get into the last two bags. I, every time I go to the row in person, yes, of course I have to have a piece from the row on this list, okay? We're not crazy. Every time I go to the row in person, there is just like, the most perfect satisfying during the winter, the most perfect satisfying display of gloves and they're all just like perfectly folded on themselves and it's so kind of different for them and it's so different from the rest of the store because it's the one place with like major pigmented pops of color and then I was like how cool would it be to get like, it's like what other time of your year do you want big, gigantic, long, gorgeous, luxe red gloves, or any color, of course, but for Valentine's Day themed, like, 
this would be the coolest gift of all time. I feel like Mary, you might need these. Like, it's just so cool. There's something so buttery about the leather. Obviously, I like to talk all the time about the quality. It's unmatched in my opinion. And this would just be so fun. And even though on the Row website, it's quick to throw in, the Row website says only in store. You can actually find them through some of their stockists. And then speak of bag charms, which I just did my entire video on bag charms. Even though I, I totally lean like I did like the jewelry designer version of bag charms where I put like vintage keychains, vintage bracelets, vintage really cool pieces, some pieces from my own line on my own bags. I also think it's really fun to have like one kind of bulky, fun, chunky charm. And I had no idea that of course the Alaya liqueur bag, the Alaya heart bag is like an obvious place on this list. But also in our era of bag charms, they have a bag charm version. Oh my, like easy, 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 easy purchase. This is so fun. You could like throw this on literally, I'm sure any one of your bags and it's just like, it's so cute and whimsical. And yet because it's a Lyle, it's a little edgy. It's just like, it's romantic, let's be honest. And then lastly, because I'm gonna talk about this bag until everybody understands how magical it is. I'm just gonna, I, I might be, I think I'm alone on island. I'm not going to lie, but Again, I'm gonna be doing an entire video for Burberry, which I think might nobody might care about right now, but you know what? I'm gonna scream it from the rooftops until people start to understand Burberry by Daniel Lee is iconic and I think it's amazing and I think it is completely underrated and being totally overlooked. So again, for the umpteenth time, the rose bag I think is so stunning and I'm saying it because I just saw it again in person at Bergdorf's and I think there's two, of course there's the red, so like easy, that's perfect. Could you think of anything more perfect? A red rose in the form of a luxurious, incredible quality pouch bag by Burberry, hello, that's amazing. But they also have the Burberry check and I felt that in person and it is so luxe. It is so thick. That's like the unconventional choice. Then also they have a newer-ish released like mini evening version. Like, oh my, why is nobody talking about this? I, I'm hoping to drum up some excitement about my video because like, guys, we need to get on this train. Burberry by Daniel Lee is my favorite Burberry I've seen in a very long time. And I, blanket state, big, big, big statement. Burberry by Daniel Lee pieces, clothing, ready to wear, bags, accessories. Honestly, they're some of my favorite pieces, point blank period, I've seen in a very long time. You guys, that has been my somewhat unconventional but really sweet from the heart, yes, cliche again. This video is filled with them. List for Valentine's Day pieces. I'm so excited to hear your thoughts. What did I miss? What should be added onto maybe a part two? As always, I love you guys so much and I hope you're gonna have the most amazing Valentine's Day. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.